My man, good to see you again, my friend. You too, man. Uh, this is funny. Yeah. This is really good. I went into it, didn't watch a trailer, didn't research the movie. I wanted to go into it cold. Oh, good. Like I told you this How morning. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's great. Now, I had no we idea. We saw each other in the elevator. Just That's to be right. clear. Okay. Um, Mannix, your character was a real guy. Well, it, yes, he was a real guy. The guy that you saw in the movie is not necessarily Mannix. It's more of an amalgamation of like four guys then. That's yeah. my next question. Your inspiration, you're playing a studio head. This is a shot for you. You've, you know, you've done many, many movies. You've known a few studio heads. Did yeah. you pull on anybody? We don't have to say names. No, but there's, the guy's a good guy. Like we actually think about him, you know, there's a bit, I'm not sure because of the people that I've spoken with, like see him as kind of a thug. But at the same time, if you look at him in the movie, he's a pretty pure guy. Like he's not a mean dude. And I think the studio head that I became closest with was Jeff Robinoff, who I know could be a tough guy, but also very extremely productive. And I like that, I, I like that, yeah. When you first read the script, what was your reaction? Oh man, I laughed out loud. I just knew, I knew that they had written it 10 years ago and they, had, they knew they wanted Clooney back then. I don't know if they tried to put it together or not, but the fact that they, when I read it, I didn't know anything about it. They had told me kind of this, I said, what do you guys have? Like in your oeuvre of things that you've written and want done and they bridge of spies, whatever, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, they told me about Hail Caesar. So when they offered it to me, I thought it was for a small part but the part wasn't so small. You, you're the man in this, this film. It's bigger in this film. <laughs> Costumes, man. I want to talk a little about that because it's a period piece of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys got to dress up. How much fun was that? Really fun. And the, the suit that I wore for the majority of the film is the fabric that Mary Zofries, the costume designer, used. It's from 49, I think, 49 or 50. So we had one suit. That's it. We didn't change the entire time. I mean, I wasn't allowed to eat lunch in my suit and all that because you couldn't spill anything on it. You couldn't. So we used one suit. Usually you have multiples. That's right. the point. You have 10, 11 suits. If you have to fall, if you have to this, you have to that. You know, if Clooney actually, when I grabbed him, if he ripped something accidentally, but we had one suit. Speaking of which, working with George Clooney, let's talk about that. Putting yeah. you two together on the big screen. I love seeing that. Yeah. I want to know what that was like on and off camera. It was great because I've known him for a long time, you know, and there were several times that we were talking about working together and then weren't able to or whatever. Um, I really like him. He's a silly human being. He's a silly, silly man. <laughs> so watching him work in front of me, I think it's funny because we've only known each other personally. A lot of times, like his friends, you, they'll work together and then they're friends after they work together. It was the opposite with us. So I think it was much more embarrassing for him than uh, he anticipated. I loved it. Oh, it had good. a Mel Brooks vibe to it. Oh, good. good Seriously, good, kind good. of the homage to film. Oh, that's great. I love that. It's the first time I've heard that. I love that.